At Apex Shark Expeditions, we're very lucky that we have a whole range of different shark species that we can take our guests to see. Over the years, we've seen some fluctuations and increases and decreases in many of these different species numbers. In the last few years, we've definitely seen a decrease in great white sharks and many people have pointed fingers at the orcas. I can tell you, since 2009, we've seen seven different groups of orcas in False Bay and on no occasion did they interfere with the white shark numbers whatsoever. In fact, on some days we had orcas hunting dolphins less than a kilometre away whilst the great white sharks were hunting seals at Seal Island. What has changed, however, to a very significant degree is the white shark's primary food source. So we know from many research studies that have been done that the primary food source for the young and uh, adolescent great white sharks are in fact smaller sharks. And sadly in South African waters in the last few years our government has seen fit to allow demersal shark longlining. What is demersal shark longlining you might ask? Well, essentially it means demersal means bottom and the shark longlining means a whole string of hooks set out sometimes over kilometers to specifically catch these smaller shark species. And these are the smaller shark species that the great white shark is heavily reliant on. So essentially, if you take away their food, you take away the great whites. And this is exactly what has happened. And until we rectify the situation, we're probably going to see decreased numbers of great white sharks. Uh, hopefully, our government sees fit to change the current situation as great white shark cage diving has been shown as an incredible means to justify keeping these animals along our coast and it employs many many times more people and brings in a lot more revenue than what killing these sharks does. We're very fortunate however that uh, we're not completely reliant on the great whites as much as we enjoy seeing them and we have a multitude of other shark species that we interact on on virtually a daily basis based on the seasonality. So typically during different times of the year we'll be specializing in a multitude of different shark species. The great white shark is just one of those species that we work with at Apex.